everybody. We're gonna, uh, uh, I'm gonna show you guys about torque. You guys have experienced torque many, many times when you've opened up a door. So here's a door. Here's the handle. I'm gonna leave it slightly open right here just so that uh, we can get a good demonstration here. So when you open a door, what's the easiest way to open a door? Where would you, well first off you need to push, right? We're gonna push this door. Uh, which way would you need to push? Uh, uh, or, or I should say, where would you need to push this door, right? Where would you need to push this door? Is it better to push, so uh, 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 here's the axis of rotation for this door. Is it better to push on the axis of rotation or further away from the axis of rotation? Let's find out. Let's push on the axis of rotation. Yeah, that's not really helping right there. All right, now let's push away from the axis of rotation. Let's push more over here. Here we go. Oh, that was much, much easier. That was much, much easier to push it that way. So it seems the further away from the axis of rotation that we push, the greater the amount of torque that we're gonna get. Um, uh, uh, as I'm gonna show you in, uh, uh, in, in the notes, this distance from the axis of rotation to where the force is being applied. So if I apply a force right here on the door, right, the distance from the axis of rotation to where the force is being applied, that's the R vector right there, right? And the greater the R vector, the greater the force. Direct proportionality, right? Okay. Then uh, the, the other thing you might you know, think is, oh, what about the amount of force, right? Uh, if I wanted to really get this door open to really have a large angular acceleration, would I use a little bit of force given some R vector? Or would I use, uh, uh, would I use a lot of force if I want to have a big acceleration? That, that I'm going to give you to think of, right? Bigger force, bigger torque, or bigger force, smaller torque? What do you, what do you think? So is there direct or inverse proportionality there? Uh, uh, all right, so let's try one more uh, uh, thing here, which is what about the angle at which I push? Is it better to push, so here's my R vector. My R vector is pointing this way, right? Is it better to push perpendicularly to my R vector? Or is it better to push, uh, uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do anti-parallel. So my R vector, my R vector points this way. My R vector points this way. I'm gonna push this way. So I'm gonna push anti-parallel to my R vector. Let's see how good that is. Uh, uh, all right, that's not, that's not really good at, at opening the door. I could even push parallel to the door, uh, uh, parallel to my R vector like this. So again, my R vector points this way. My force points this way. Now I'm pushing like that. Still, nothing, right, right, nothing. However, if I push, so my R vector goes like this, and my force vector points perpendicularly to that, I get a lot of angular acceleration. That's really good. So hopefully that helped. Uh, I, I, you know, try it, try it with your own door so you can get a good sense of uh, torque and how to, uh, yeah, all right, okay, bye. <laughs>